So you've been storing crypto securely on a paper wallet for years and you've decided it's time to spend it or maybe to move that to a hardware wallet and you want to know how to do that securely. I've had a look on YouTube and when I look for how to uh, sweep paper wallets or how to spend from a paper wallet, all of the guides I see basically just direct you to use a software wallet and to sweep it that way, whether it's using something like the blockchain.com wallet uh, or just Electrum or Bitcoin Core. Uh, or even the video that I did that looks at using Coinomi. And while these methods might be okay for smaller amounts of crypto, if you have a paper wallet that's storing a significant amount of value, uh, simply using a software wallet and trusting that you know the device, the software, uh, and all of these things can be trusted to do the right thing might not be secure enough for you. So what I'm gonna run through in this video is how to use your smartphone and your PC to securely sweep a paper wallet. Most importantly of all, your private key will actually stay fully offline until the funds have been swept. Even for those who don't have a paper wallet, this process can be really useful just even to understand something of what goes on inside your hardware wallet. Because as you'll see, uh, the process for sending the transactions backwards and forwards and verifying them is very, very similar to what goes on when you're using a hardware wallet. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe and that way you can stay in the loop for content I make to help you find your way in the crazy and often hostile environment that is cryptocurrency. So for this video, what you're gonna need is an Android smartphone, and a PC, preferably one with a webcam. If you don't have access to an Android smartphone, you can just use a second computer. Anything that runs Electrum will be fine. And you can either fumble around trying to align screens with webcams on computers, or you can use USB to uh, move stuff around every time you see me talk about a step that involves scanning a QR code. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is install Electrum on your PC and on your mobile phone. So we're going to go to electrum.org. Don't just Google Electrum and go to the first thing that comes up. And then we're gonna to go to download. And we're just gonna download the latest version of Electrum for our environment. So I'm gonna download the Windows installer and I'm also gonna download the APK file as well as the signatures for each of these files. Because one of the things with software wallets like Electrum is it isn't enough just to download it from electrum.org. And I've talked about why this is in a video on network attacks. But basically what you wanna do is verify the GPG signature for Electrum. Uh, it will take you a few minutes and I've done a video that walks through how to do that. We've downloaded the installer for Windows, we've downloaded the APK for Android, and uh, so we can verify they are exactly what they should be. If that's just way over your head, the next best thing can be to uh, get your phone, to disconnect from your Wi-Fi, just so using your mobile carrier's internet. And so to install Electrum off the App Store, and uh, a good way to verify that you've got the right one and not a fake, is to go to electrum.org to go to the download page and then to click on the Google Play link. The key reason why this is secure is because what we're gonna do in this process is get download software from multiple different sources using multiple different internet connections and multiple different devices. And what that means is that if an attacker wanted to do something that would cause you to send the funds somewhere else to them, that they would have to compromise not just one device uh, but two completely different devices, independent devices at the same time. It's not enough for them simply to compromise either the network you're using, your PC, or the wallet software that happens to be installed on your PC already. The other really useful thing with this is Electrum is open source and it runs on Python. So you can actually just download the source and run directly from source yourself on your PC. And if you're really paranoid, you can even build your own APK for the mobile phone. All right, so we've got Electrum installed on our phone and on our PC, and now comes the most important step. Do not skip this step. You need to put your phone into flight mode. So we wanna be making sure the Wi-Fi is disabled, we wanna be making sure Bluetooth is disabled, and if you're really wanting to be extra sure that things are all above board, this is where you could take out the SIM card in your phone. So this device is now fully offline and air gapped and we are not going to turn any of the networking features of this back on until we are finished. With the reason being that even if there is something malicious on here that's gonna leak our private keys, it's not gonna be able to do so until after we have swept our funds securely. So our phone is now our air gapped device and it will be running fully offline. We have our paper wallet just here, which is an old sort of bit address style paper wallet. You know, there's two QR codes on there, one for deposit, one for spend. Uh, and as much as these are a terrible idea these days, a lot of people still have them kicking around. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna open Electrum on our phone and we are gonna select that we want to import Bitcoin addresses or private keys. Now on our phone, we are going to click the camera and we are going to scan the, Q, the spend QR code. And we're gonna say next. 
we'll choose a pin code. For the purpose of this video, I'll just choose one, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. So this is what we're gonna see. So balance is just gonna say it's offline. Uh, send isn't really gonna show us much. And if we go into receive, what we will see is the address uh, on the paper wallet, but that is all we're going to see. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open Electrum on our PC. And uh, look, we can call the wallet whatever we like. We can just call it paper wallet in this case. And we are going to say next. Now we want to import a Bitcoin address or private keys and say next. And what we're gonna do at this stage is we are going to import the Bitcoin address. And uh, the easiest way to do that is just to click read the QR code. And I've actually already got the receive tab open in Electrum, and I'm just gonna show it that. And we can just delete that prefix because we're not actually trying to receive funds. And uh, there's the address right there. At this point, you can hold up your paper wallet to the thing. You just wanna make sure you're covering up the private key because your computer at no point in this process needs to ever see the spend part of the wallet. So we're gonna say next. Uh, we're not gonna worry about a password because we're just gonna use this wallet as a one-time thing. And we saw that message there saying that we have a watch only wallet, which means we can't use this to send transactions on its own. And we can see the funds that are there. And in this example, I only just deposited those funds a few minutes ago and uh, set the fees really low. So it hasn't confirmed yet, but that doesn't matter. Uh, what you will see here is all the balances and transactions where you deposited into your wallet. So we are gonna go into send. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in the Bitcoin address that we're gonna send the funds to. So this is all happening on the PC. Um, we wanna set our fees. And look, in this example, I'm just gonna set the fees at one sat per byte, just cause you know, I move a lot of crypto around for these sort of videos and don't wanna to spend tons on fees. Um, but this is a situation where it is worth having it confirmed within a few blocks. So you'll need to set the fee. Um, we're gonna say max, cause we wanna sweep the full balance of the wallet. And now what we do is we hit preview. And what we can see here is this transaction, but see it is unsigned because this computer doesn't have the private keys on there to be able to sign the transaction. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this QR button right here. And that QR code now has all of the information that is the transaction. So now we go to our phone that has Electrum on it. And if we click on the send tab, you'll notice there's a little camera icon. So if we press that, it'll start up our camera and we can scan that QR code from our PC. And what we can see is exactly the same transaction from our PC on our phone. And what we can do then is we can confirm that things like the amount that we're sending and uh, the output that is the destination it's being sent to matches uh, where it should be going. So this is the step where if you're sending this to uh, like a hardware wallet or something like that, you'd be making sure this address you see on your phone and the amount matches exactly the address on your hardware wallet because any malware that's gonna try and send your funds somewhere else is probably gonna do that by adding uh, a different output uh, here in this, either sending all your funds to the scammer's address uh, or something like that. So what we can do is we can say options and then we can say sign. Now we're gonna put in the pin which uh, for this case, I just said is one, two, three, four, five, six, and there you go. And so what we have now on our offline phone is a signed transaction. And so we're gonna click the QR code icon, and then back on our computer, we're gonna close that transaction we created before. We're gonna to say tools, load transaction from QR code. And we are gonna show it the QR code that we had signed on the device. And again, this is another opportunity to uh, just double check and make sure that all the details are correct. And if we're happy with that, we can say broadcast. And there we go, the payment is sent. So if we go into the transaction history now, we can see that it has sent the transaction. And if on our computer, we go to a block explorer, we'll actually be able to see that that address now has a transaction uh, sweeping the funds out. At this point, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your transaction has at least one confirmation before you go reconnecting your phone to the internet. Uh, and if you want to, you can also just not only remove the wallet from Electrum, but you can also just uninstall Electrum completely. But even after you've deleted your wallet and uninstalled Electrum, you wanna keep your phone offline and air gap until that transaction has at least one confirmation.
because after that, it doesn't actually matter if someone has your private key anymore. There are no funds there for them to steal. So there you go. If you're someone who had used a BIP38 passphrase on your paper wallet, like if you'd used bit address, uh, that often makes them look blue like this. Uh, an easy way to tell is if your private key starts with a six, uh, not with an L, uh, then you will need to use two computers for this because uh, you will need to decrypt that private key before you can sweep it into Electrum. And what you'll need to do is download bit address onto that second computer, uh, the one that's going to go offline, as well as Electrum. And then you'll need to take that computer offline and only then uh, import your private key into bit address offline on that computer, decrypt the private key, and then import that private key into Electrum. And then from then on, the process is the same as what I've showed you, except again, either juggling QR scanning on your laptops or just passing the transaction backwards and forwards using a USB stick. The other thing I'll add is if you have altcoins like, you know, Litecoin, or if your private key is old enough that you want to be sweeping things like Bitcoin Cash off there as well, uh, you will need to use two computers for that step. Just because the uh, Electron Cash version on Android, for whatever reason, uh, has had the support for offline signing like this removed from it, and there simply isn't uh, an Android version of Electrum LTC available right now. If you want to have a bit of a practice for doing this with your actual paper wallet private key, I would definitely recommend just, you know, downloading Electrum on your PC, downloading it on your phone, and then just practicing uh, with a private key that you generate specifically for this, you know, just generate a new paper wallet, just send a dollar there, and uh, just practice setting that backwards and forwards a few times just so you're comfortable uh, with how to do this process. As long as you don't get so comfortable, that you forget to take the device offline before importing your private key. Thanks for watching, I hope that was helpful. Hit like if you think that other people would find this video useful and hit subscribe if you'd like to be kept in the loop about future content I make that helps people stay safe in the crypto space and to recover if they get into trouble. If you have any questions about this video or a topic that you'd like me to cover, just leave a reply.